This is the podcast TV show that gives you the facts, food, and fitness. Join me as I travel around in my RV interviewing people from all around the world via online and in person, discovering the eight dimensions of wellness so that we can find a way to live in complete balance. Check that out, guys, the final product. If you're hungry, you got smell of vision, come get it. There you go, I wish, right? Welcome to the Wellness on the Show. I'm your host, Jason Stone. Enjoy the show. Our special guest today is an author, international speaker, and intuitive business architect for the last 25 years. Today, our guest is Leah Dumlap. How are you doing today, Leah, and how's your day going? I am fantastic. Nice to meet you and great to be here. Most definitely. It's a pleasure having you on the show today. Before we get into the questions, I'd like to ask you, how did you become an expert in your field? I think the beginning of my journey really started with understanding that my purpose and my gift were a little unique in that as an oracle and having this kind of intuitive gift, I was able to move through the corporate world to a place of understanding what people needed and wanted. And so my big shift um, into like kind of pre creating my experience and my work was to bring those two things together and to help other entrepreneurs and business leaders understand their path forward and by combining all of their own gifts and talents um, and aligning with their purpose i was actually the the a big able excuse me able to actually stand out in my field as a little bit different than the typical business coach because my gift of being able to see their path helped them to get there faster. Absolutely. Yeah, you want to definitely have that na the niche, the niche market. And speaking about niche market, who is your ideal client if you were to describe that one client that you want to work with? Oh, that's a great question. My clients typically that are the best at receiving um, what the work that we do are women entrepreneurs or business leaders who have really reached a point in their life or business where they've had success, but there's a sense of hollowness in it. In other words, they feel unfulfilled or they lack the clarity of purpose and they feel like the money is great, but there just isn't any zest or joy in their life. And they can't figure out why, because they should be happy, but they're not. Absolutely. That's the one thing I was dealing with recently too. You could have all the money in the world, but then not be happy or vice versa could have a job that's not making enough money and not be happy. So it's, it's two-sided on that. And uh, the fact that people listening out there, I always encourage them to follow your passion and then try to build a business around that or somehow figure out a way to and make money but still be happy at the same time. Absolutely, yeah. What are one, think, what, what oh, sorry, no problem. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Oh, no problem, no. Um, the one thing that I'd like to ask you is, what is one of the greatest success stories a client has said about you or given you as a testimonial? One of my favorite success stories actually doesn't have to do with money, even though I'm a purpose and prosperity coach, but it is that fact that my, um, one of my clients who had, we helped create um, a, a, a new business. She left the corporate world and she launched a startup. She built the startup, got um, international acclaim for her work and then unfortunately um, a tragedy struck her family and her husband passed away oh, wow. and when we regrouped and kind of got back together what she told me that honestly i'll take forever to heart was that even despite the fact that we were there working on her business the the tools and the resources i gave her to know who she was and that she was here on purpose actually helped her to to process through and manage through that horrible tragedy with grace and ease and to feel um, less consumed by the grief that would naturally and obviously come from that process. She said what I taught her helped her to manage that for her two teenage twins and herself. And to me, having somebody feel that, that connected to their own source and their own self um, means everything. For the grieving process you really helped her with, and that's a big part of your job too as well. It's not just the job part of it, but it's the outside part or the internal person you're working with, which is Absolutely. very important to touch base with. That's really good. 
Yeah. I tend to say that I'm a 360 degree coach. You know, what I know is that our life and our businesses are highly intertwined um, when we are aligned with our purpose, because that's a part of who we are meant to be and how we show up and create that in the world can have, as you said, many different passions, but the core of who we are always exists underneath it. Absolutely. And a part of that passion for you, you have a few books you said, is that correct? I do. I, I do. I've, um, the, the one actually over my shoulder here, the power plan is the core book that I use to teach all of my components. Um, the six steps that I teach my clients to use to really craft and create their life and their businesses so that they are aligned. Um, I also have a coffee table book that I use that talks about success tips for people that they can just open up and use almost like an Oracle deck of some sorts to just kind of look and tap into what they're most focused moves forward would be um, on a success path. That's great. And what's the name of the book? I missed the, that. Yeah, the power up, uh, power up is the coffee table book and the power plan is my plan, my program book that is designed around the six steps that I show my clients how to use and manifest what they want in their lives. And we'll have links to those on the bio as well uh, for your show notes so that everyone can find your book and go and follow, find you as well. Um, in your own words, I have a question for every guest that's on the show. What is your definition of total wellness if you were to write a definition yourself? Mm, I love that question. To me, total wellness is to be an absolute centered piece with how you're showing up vibrant, healthy, alive, and aligned in the world. So I think that looks different for everyone, but I think ultimately it is about finding your own inner comfort right back after this short break. Don't go anywhere. Hi, I'm Jason here with Body Express Wellness. Have you ever dealt with anxiety, stress, and almost got to the point of burnout or have been burned out? I know I have. I suffered with anxiety all my life. For the last two years, I've developed this system to neutralize your anxiety, reduce stress, and to avoid burnout. That's right. I can help you get rid of your anxiety. Exercise with the others. Call us today at 615-732-5799. And for today, and for all of us watching, I'd like to give you my free wellness routine checklist. You can download it at the link below and use that link to get started. Reduce stress, visualize your anxiety, and also take back your life to avoid burning. Have a great fit day. We are back. Thank you very much for listening and watching. On the show today, if you were to tell us the purpose of having a coach be. Ooh, I think the biggest purpose for having the external resource of a coach is really to have a place where your, your limitations and your blocks are set aside and you have someone who can clearly see the power of who you are and the, the, the potential you are in the world so that they can mirror that back to you. And you really should, if you're working with a coach, feel as if they are that great mirror of who you really are inside. I'm actually considered a human performance coach. I help with movement, I help with fitness and wellness, but I'm not the type of business coach. So it's a totally different aspect, but really they work hand in hand together, having multiple coaches to help you with your life. But is there anything else I haven't covered that you would love to talk about or share with us? Yes, and I think that when we look at what our wellness is and how we look at the avenues of wellness that we can have, as you said, both the mental, mental and physical and personal side of wellness, to know that we are already designed, like we are perfectly designed to be, to be that vibrant self and that we can continue to like look at other people and judge what their experience or their journey is, but ultimately the best we can be is 100% of who we are. That's definitely true. Everyone says 110%, but I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to get there. So that's like 95%. My watch even tells me my stress level, like you're at 75%. I'm like, oh, great. Yeah. So good. But, but I do really greatly appreciate it. Where can we find you and how can we hire you? And what, where should we go to find you? Yeah, the easiest way to get in contact with me is just to hop on my website. It's oracleonpurpose.com. We have lots of free gifts and, and videos and things like that that you can join us. We also have a podcast that matches that as well. So you can hear about what I do and see if it might be a good fit for you. Absolutely. For everyone listening out there, go onto the website, find Leah, 
and I definitely want to appre I greatly appreciate you being on the show and sharing with us today. I learned so much about it because it's not just people here coaching. They never think about the person behind the coaching, how well they work, how hard they work. And that's really, really important for us to learn about that. But thank you so much for being on the show and I, have, I hope you have a great fit day. Thank you so much. You're very welcome.